Greetings. Just wanted to make a very quick video relevant to this date, and the relevance to this date will be noted in a moment. But uh, first, I wanted to begin with a disclaimer to note that this particular video is not intended to be even remotely polemical. It's merely to share a historical note. Therefore, it's my hope that this video can come off as as dispassionate as possible, and therefore that it can be something that a person can find interesting if they're interested in One West history, irrespective of whether they are part of a One West Israelite group or even if a person is not a member of a One West Israelite group. Last Saturday, August 17th, Vocab Malone put out a video titled Researching Rare Hebrew Israelite Documents in New York City. And the video was a small bit about his recent visit to the Schoenberg Library in Manhattan, the Schoenberg Center, uh, to do some research relevant to One West history in particular and Hebrew Israelite history in general. And uh, so the reason why I bring this up is because I know for a fact that Vocab Malone is involved in some interesting research, some of it which will be relevant to Abba Bivens uh, with information coming out in the near future, God willing. That aside, Routledge Publishing will soon be putting out a book titled Kendrick Lamar and the Making of Black Meaning, which is actually an anthology bringing together pieces by a number of different authors. Those with an interest in One West history will be particularly interested in the 16th chapter, which is an article by Sam Kestenbaum titled I'm an Israelite, Kendrick Lamar's Spiritual Search, Hebrew Israelite Religion, and the Politics of Celebrity Encounter. Now, it's my understanding that that chapter will be bringing out some new information on Abba Bivens, which uh, those with an interest in One West history will find valuable. The point that I'm trying to get to by mentioning Vocab's research and noting the forthcoming book, which will include a chapter by Kestenbaum, is that a number of people are doing some interesting research on Abba Bivens, and it seems that soon there'll be a bit more information on the man who is purportedly the founder of One West in one way or another. With that said, I can begin to share a little bit of information which will get to the point of the significance of today's date. First, uh, I'll share that it's, my, it's now my understanding that the man who is popularly known as Abba Bivens, uh, that his real name was actually Edward Bibbins, and uh, with his last name being spelled B-I-B-B-I-N-S, and that uh, Edward Bibbins was born on the 31st of July in 1896 in Germantown in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now, of course, this information is admittedly tentative, but if the information is accurate, if Abba Bivens, so-called Abba Bivens, was in fact Edward Bibbins, and if Edward Bibbins was in fact born on the 31st of July, 1896, then uh, here's an interesting bit of trivia. Assuming he was born before sunset, the date of his birth on the mainstream Hebrew calendar would be the 21st of Ab, which happens to be the current date on the mainstream Hebrew calendar. So in other words, at the time of the airing of this video, it may be the birthday of Abba Bivens, which seemed to me an auspicious time to mention that men are doing research on him and attempting to bring out more information on him, and uh, it looks like the future is somewhat bright insofar that some information will be coming out shortly. And uh, that's all I wanted to share, a little bit of trivia about, about Abba Bivens, that this may be his, today may be his birthday on the Hebrew calendar, on the mainstream Hebrew calendar, and uh, that more information will be coming out on him shortly, God willing. On that note, I look forward to discussing this subject in the future with people. Until then, God bless.